Um, so taking it back, you you brought up Squad Up and any, you know, cash money, young money fans, you know, know about Squad Up and that's y'all roots. Um, so let's talk about that. So why'd y'all decide to call it Squad Up? Um, I honestly don't even remember why we called it Squad Up. Like, I think it was just like, just something, it wasn't no particular reason. Like, it was just, okay. I think this is what it was, honestly. I think I think Wayne got inspired by Mob Deep with the tattoos mm. on their knuckles, with okay. the Mob Deep on their knuckles. And I honestly think he just wanted to put some shit that could fit on his knuckles. <laughs> <laughs> okay, respect. So, so because before Squad Up was a rap group, it was honestly, a, a, he, he started it as a, like a clothing line. So right. just like on some squad shit. So we got squad shit tattered on our knuckles when we was kids. And that was crazy. More like, and I think he was just more like going for the, you know, he seen my beat with my beat on their knuckles and he just wanted to get some shit that could fit on our knuckles. So he just came up with that type shit. Okay. That's crazy. Um, and I know you and Wayne met like when y'all was youngsters, but what was that first encounter like? <laughs> Uh, my homeboy, cause I met him through my my homeboy Mario, and um, they was in they was in our neighborhood, chilling at at Mario crib, and I, I was, I think I was around the corner doing, so I was outside around the corner. It was kind of late at night, <clears throat> and I passed by Mario crib, and when I got there, they had a little dice game going, so mm. I started shooting dice with him. That's how me and him really like formally met each other. Like I knew him through in passing because he would always come through the neighborhood with Mario but that night that was the night I met him formally like through a dice game right <laughs> that's crazy uh what was the craziest situation that y'all been in together <laughs> honestly that night was but I can't really say mm. that night, but that night was like that's that's how me and him even got a bond that night through mm. some crazy shit that happened that very night respect respect um, what was the time that he told you that he was most proud of you? Uh, probably like, I mean, he says, he randomly says shit like every blue moon. Like anytime he, if, he, if we in the studio, it could be just me and him and he'll just see me rapping, uh, mm. uh, just taking control of a song that, of a song we doing. And he'll be, just be like, damn, like, he'll just reminisce on like, damn, you really wasn't a rapper. Yeah. Like you really in here, like controlling this shit like doing this shit your way like you really in here doing this shit like and he'll say he'll say little things like that in the studio and just a bunch of other times like if i come out like if i come out on this set and then the crowd go crazy he'll just mm. be like, he'll forget he, it's like he almost forget that i that i'm a rapper like it's like it's weird because i really wasn't a rapper like he just really mm -hmm. like you know, pushed it on me facts what was that like pivotal point for you though, where you was like, all right, let me really take this serious and put both feet into this rapping thing. Let me really, really do this. Cause I know how it is to be, you know, straddling a fence with both. It's crazy because I, I know I probably started rapping in 2002, like, like really in 2002 around the squad up, 2000, 2002 around the squad up time. But mm -hmm. I, I didn't really start taking it serious until around, maybe around like a year or two before I put my first mixtape out. Hmm. Yeah, that, that's around the time when I started taking it serious because you got to think like all of those years, I had never stepped out on my own to do my own thing. I had always been dedicated to being a group member. Right. So that lets you know right there, you, you're not too, you know, worried about your own self. You're worried about this group. So, you know, I didn't start taking taking it serious, serious till I started putting out my solo mixtape. Because mm. it was so mm. being in the group, you only had to do verses here, and a hook here and there, like, you know, but once you step out on your own and start doing your own thing, and I realized how much work it is putting a, putting a project together right. on your that's when I realized I was like, all right, I'm, I'm, I got to do this shit. Now. I really got to do this shit. Now. Nah, facts. Facts. How did that make you feel, though, when you did get to that point where you like, yo, like, I'm I'm really doing this music thing for real? I felt good. I felt good. Still to, this, sure. day, still to this day, like, I feel good about everything I've done. Respect. Yeah. Respect. 
How's your relationship with all the past members of Squad Up? Good, good. With well, every last one of them. I'm right. not just saying that just to be saying that. Like that's all of them are family still to this day. For sure. The Progress Report.